Hi, today I'm going to teach you how to make these simple camper curtains that will play. Oh! Hi, so I took my mini blinds down, finally, and I put up these, um, I had to take these boxes down to get the mini blinds down. And I actually have two types of curtain rods on under the balance now. So if you want to see how I did that, watch part one of these three videos. Part two, this video, I'm going to show you how I made these simple, just square or rectangle panel curtains for the three back windows of my camper. Very easy to do. Um, nothing difficult. And for the third video, I'm going to show you how to make the tie backs as well as a different kind of um, panel that I'm, I'm making to go behind these. I'm going to make a very thin white solid panel with a pocket at the top that the rod that goes through the rod. These curtains are the kind, it's just a flat, it's almost like a placemat and you just clip it to these rings. So this video is just going to show you how to make this type of curtain, very simple. And then for part three, you'll learn how to make the tie backs for these. Also very simple. Okay. So to start with these, what I did was you have to measure, not your window. You're going to measure the valance or how long you want your curtains. And I knew I wanted them longer than the window. I wanted to extend as far as I could on as far as I could as wide as the valance. So the curtains would extend past the window. So I have as much privacy as I would want to have. So I measured and when the curtains are closed, I wanted them to kind of lay flat and not be wavy. So I made them a little longer than I needed. But no worries because you can always fold it under and clip it to the next clip if you feel like it's too long and wavy. So these measurements do not have to be exact. So I went with the inside of the valance, which in my case is 34 inches. And then I added two inches on each side, 34, 36. So it's going to be a total of 36 wide, 24 tall. And the reason I had to do 36 wide and 24 tall, that's the whole rectangle, 36 wide. So you're going to take this 36 wide, 24 inch tall, rectangle of fabric and you're going to fold this down and iron it which i will show you how to do so you're going to have this one long rectangle and you're going to fold the hem and iron it and then sew the whole thing all the way around the edges and then to find the center you're just gonna fold it in half iron it and cut it in half and then fold these down and iron them and hem them, sew them by hand or on the machine. And then you have your curtains. The tiniest, ittiest, bittiest ironing board. It's perfect for ironing, um, folding this over and ironing it for a hem. And it's actually meant for suit sleeves, shirt sleeves. This is hard for me to video while I'm doing, but once I have all my fabric cut, I fold it about a half inch and then I fold it again and then I iron it down and I do this around all the sides, all the edges because then I'm going to sew it and by ironing it flat, it's just easier to run through the sewing machine. It's so much easier. So I don't even really measure it. I really just eyeball it. And maybe that's bad 
but I'm not OCD. So I'll just fold it like that and iron it and then fold it on itself and iron it again. So it's uh, ironed all the way down and then I'll sew over that. I'm going to sew the two panels I made for the emergency window and I'm going to start with the corner and you, you can see I have to go through two layers that I folded so this is going to be pretty thick so I'm not actually going to step on the petal I'm just going to I have to put the arm down I just got this sewing machine so um I haven't used this one yet I'm going to go forward and reverse a couple times to knot it what you do when you get to the end you slow down and you have the you turn the um, knob on the side of the sewing machine till your needle is down then you lift the foot and you just pivot your fabric lower the foot back down I'm turning the knob to go forward one okay and then I'm going to go back on the press the foot again and put the phone down so I can use two hands Okay, so I just got to the final corner and I went forward in reverse just like two times to make sure it was in a knot. And then of course you make sure you, your needle's out of the fabric. You pull it out and then you're just gonna cut the thread out. All right, so there's one. And then you just clip them to the things and that's it guys. So that's it. That's it, two rectangles hanging side by side for the easy peasy camper curtains. And then for the tie backs, my next video, it's just two more rectangles. Two long thin neck rectangles that will press. Oh, and that my friends is what happens when your tension is not tense enough. <laughs>